All right, welcome back to the Unscripted Show. I'm your host Mahim Murad. Today we have two very inspirational guests. Our first guest is Kate Morgan. She started acting at a very young age and in summer camps. In middle school, she started playing in musicals, and in high school, started acting in student films. She is currently a senior. Our next guest is Selena Turner, who started acting at the age of five in plays slash stage work, and at the age of 14, she began doing film acting. She is currently a junior in high school. They both have been in short films and public safety announcement announcements. Uh, our first guest. Hi, I'm Kate Morgan. Hi, I'm Selena Turner. All right, so the first question I wanted to ask you is, you guys are actors and you've been acting since such a young age. Where do you get the confidence to go on stage and to just act in front of so many people you don't know? How, do you not feel like that fear of public speaking? Well, it, okay. It's you become the person that you're playing. It's kind of like a you get to step out of who you are for a second and become this person. And it, it kind of takes that like nervousness away because you you just feel like... So you get into the character so much where you like just don't even worry about that public... Okay, what about you, Selena? Um, for me, it's like I just know that like this is what I'm doing and I love doing it. So it's not as hard for me. Like it's just I'm putting the reality into it. Like this is like what the job is. This is how to get there. And um, like I have a team of people like around me that are um, like help me with my confidence and like are there for me. And that's like nice having a support system. But when you were like starting out for both of you, Mm -hmm. it must have been very different. Like without that experience, you know, and you guys were like five, six years old. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So what was it like then? Because there is that Seinfeld joke where like the number one fear in the world is public speaking. And number two is death. Like, that's how big of a fear this is for people. Yeah. You, you got to learn. It's like a learning it's process. It's trial and error, for sure. Growing up, and then you just learn, you know, be bold. And it, it helps. Also, like, when you're a kid, you don't really care what anyone thinks. You're just kind of living your life. It's great. And as you get older into, like, that awkward stage, like, you could learn to, like, not be like that. But you just kind of have to have the mindset of a kid. Do you have that mindset where it's like, worst case scenario, I mess up and just nothing happens? Do you guys think about that? Yeah. So you guys started at what age? Five. Five. And what wanted you, what like it attracted you towards acting? Well, I'd always been interested in performing and it was just like always something a part of my life. My family was really into watching movies and um, music and like I grew up with that. So I just wanted to be a part of it. What about you, Kate? Well, okay. Uh, my favorite quote ever, I actually don't know who said it, but is a quote by this this woman. And she said, all women are actors. I'm just smart enough to be paid for it. And I guess that's kind of what it was, was I was just a dramatic kid. And so um, once I got into acting and I was like, oh, you use that, you funnel it into different characters. It just kind of developed. So what were these struggles of being a child actor? Well... Being a child actor, well, the good thing is first that, like, there's always a need for child actors because, like, that's the kind of industry we work in. But there's challenges when, like, you get to a certain age, they might need younger kids, and, like, the older kids are being played by people who are 18 and over um, for their own reasons. But there's always, like, that time period where you're just, like, working on your craft, um, just trying to get the next audition, get the next thing. When, when you would go for auditions, would you get rejected sometimes? Oh, yeah, for sure. And Definitely. how would you deal with that? I think that the right role is there for, like, whoever. There's always going to be another audition. Mm-hmm. Like, no matter what, it, it's an audition. And sometimes you have to create your own work, too. Yeah. yeah. Because a lot of people, they the fear of failing is big enough for them. Not only just, like, public speaking, but, oh, I'm not going to try because I might fail. So as a kid, you would be rejected and you still would push on. Oh, yeah. Was it because you enjoyed the work so much or was it like people around you saying, oh, just keep on going? What was it for you guys? Well, I like a little healthy competition. (laughs) So uh, it's just it like makes you want to do better and makes you want to go farther. And it's like I have my own goals for myself. And it's like I know where I want to get to. If you don't fail at first, you will never succeed. So fast forward a couple years. And now you're a older kid who's done work, but now you're you're different from everybody else because the kids I know they're not doing acting. They're 
they're playing Minecraft at home. So what was it like having that sense like, oh, I'm actually doing something with my life? What, what, was that ever, did that ever come across your mind? Yes, a lot. As soon as I met Alex and I started working on the films and then as soon as The Simple Truth started happening, I was like, oh, finally, like this is real. Okay. You know, like a dream that since I was little uh, that I've loved, I was like, perfect. Like this is becoming a thing. Like it's real. So who supported you in your journey? Like, was it because a lot of times we go, we start on a path and on the path we meet people. Like, for example, you guys met Alex, who was into producing films. You guys were into acting in it. Who else, who else was there? Like, any key figures that, like, really pushed you forward? Um, my, my family was, like, a big part of this. Um, my sister, she's also an actor. And uh, there have been times where, like, we've gone for the same role. And we've just, we've celebrated each other after. So we, like, support each other. And, like, um, instructors and people I've met along the way. So would you say it's important to have these people around you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Definitely. <laughs> For me, it was like my mom and just good friends. Good friends, okay. And how was a simple truth? Okay, so like you've done acting and auditions on plays and musicals, and then you do a full movie that premiered at Avalon. So (laughs) how was that experience? Oh, it was so great. I like, I can't even put it into words, but um, like working with Alex was such a pleasure and like the cast and crew, everyone was so focused and getting to play something out of my out of my usual type. Okay. I'm not really the little sister. I'm always like older, but um, it was fun like getting to play that. Definitely. So was it, in, in terms of goal setting, was it like a big checklist, like movie premiered at Avalon? Was that like a thing? Yes. Oh yeah, for sure. That's Definitely. Like, oh, sorry. No, go. <laughs> Definitely for me, it was a big thing because I never, you know, it. like I said, it was kind of something out of a dream. I never, like, expected something like that to happen, not even, like, while I was in high school. But then, yeah, you know, because I'm a high schooler. And it's different for me over Selena, no offense, because she has an agent. And, you know, I'm just someone who likes to act in, like, plays or musicals or whatever I can. And it was just, it was awesome to meet Alex and just think to myself, like, okay, okay. So that was a, like, completely by chance thing you met Alex. Yes. So you have an agent. So how how were you as a how did, how as a kid did you get more like official into the system? So um, I moved from Tampa, Florida, uh, which is more of a commercial market, to um, Atlanta, and like this market's booming with like filming a ton of like people are filming shows here and movies, and it's great. Um, I just. Like, it was all kind of by by chance, you know? Like, it just happened. And it just... And was it because, oh, I, I want to act more? I want to be doing more? Yeah, that I was... definitely decided, like, this is what I wanted to do when I moved here. And we just kept going and going, and all right. we landed there. So what are the future plans? Do you guys continue want to continue this path, do something in the acting industry? Definitely. Definitely for me in college. Um... I really like the film industry. Like, it's it's so inspiring for me. So definitely that's on the plans. Yeah. Um, well, 2020, I'm going to hone in on my craft more, auditioning, all things like that. Tonight's the Golden Globes. So, you know, one day maybe walk that red carpet. <laughs> so how is it um, managing all these auditions with school and your other commitments and, like, like memorizing your lines and everything? How is that process for you guys? It definitely gets busy. Like when it when it gets busy, it's it's crazy. You have to like work on your schoolwork and like um, memorize your lines. But sometimes you get the audition like the night before, oh. and you just have to memorize your lines like and just kind of push aside everything else going on in your life. And I've schedule I've like personalized my schedule so that my school schedule so that I can focus on both. work on acting. All right. And so do you have any advice for other newcomers who want to start acting in the like industry or start doing musicals or get do like plays? Accept criticism. criticism. I would say like if you can understand what someone is saying to you in a non-defensive way, then you can go really far in this industry because everyone has different points of views. But like if you yourself, you just know what everyone is saying, you take it in, um, but like still stay grounded 
then you can go really far. Um, I would say definitely just have fun with it. Like mm-hmm. always make sure that you're just having fun and you're doing something that you love and just work hard because accepting criticism is a deep like it's a deep idea to think about because there are adults who can't accept criticism like if somebody says something about them they 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 don't they can't handle it yeah and that's an important life skill to have like in stressful situations so let's talk more on how you can accept more criticism how you can be okay with it without freaking out Uh, do you guys have have any tips I would say just accept what the person is saying. And I mean, if you want it to go one ear and not the other, then that's your choice. But um, what I do, I like listen to what everyone's saying. I write it down. Um, And then I just kind of like pick the points that I agree with most. And even if I like see, if I don't see something that they see, I still try to like understand what they're saying. Like, Just keep an open mind. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Definitely just see it from, like, their point of view. And I don't remember what I was going to say. Well, that that idea itself is really, like, big for everything. Just keeping an open mind in general is for any conversation. It's really important. So so let's go over to the uh, Hollywood industry real quick. So you guys, one day, maybe, that's, like, the goal, right? The big goal is Hollywood. What do you guys think about the current state of Hollywood where like the all the movies are blockbusters or like the nepotism in the industry? What are your thoughts on all of that? Well, um, <laughs> I, oh. you can go. Um, I think it's it's nice to be able to be like, oh, I know someone in the industry and then like get somewhere from that. It's nice to have connections, especially if you're like friendly or extro- extroverted, you know, like that's going to get me somewhere, but not always a make or break. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you think it's the best time to be an actor in this day and age with all these shows, all these streaming services? Isn't, do you think that there's so many more opportunities to be in the spotlight? Of course. Like everyone, there's so many people trying to be an actor, like in LA, your Uber driver is going to be an actor. Like your wait, the waitress is going to be an actor. Like, Everyone is trying to do this, um, but it's the people who are really going to, like, put the effort in and, like, work. There's so many opportunities that you just have to take it and go. All right. If What do you think about all this competition, though? I mean, you said that you just got to take it and go, but there is a lot of competition coming in, you know? It's true. And so is there, in, in the industry, do you need things to, like, differentiate you? Or is oh, yeah, it, for sure. So what, what, are, what is that like? Well, having special skills under your belt is important. Um, what What do those like look like? Well, you could say honestly, a special skill could be anything. Like if you could, if you can ride a bike, then <laughs> you're already. If you can drive a car, that you're already okay. like, you're already like there. If you like have a passport in another country, that's another oh, okay. thing. So and, it, okay, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Can you guys cry on command? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna ask you to do it, but it's. it's Are you sure? I mean, no, that's that's too much. That's, yeah. that's way too much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But how is it, like, this skill set you've acquired, how much is uh, experience, how much practice did you have to go in to acquire all these skills? What What is that like? It's a lot of just doing. Like, you're not just kind of... It's, like, a lot of observing, watching, and then, like, do, actually doing it. Yeah. It's a lot of learning and then just, like, working with yourself to see what, like, works for you and then just mm-hmm. molding off of that. So do you, when you're in school, do you feel like, oh, what am I doing here? I know what I want to do. Let me just go down that path. Or? It definitely feels like that sometimes. You just kind of feel stuck. Mm-hmm. I mean, the actor has to be the smartest person in the room, um, like on the set. So it's good to learn like basic knowledge and have that under your belt. Like English is really important. Um history knowing your history is really important so yeah I actually don't feel like that at all it's it's kind of an opposite thing for me because for me there's many things that I want to do okay you know I I have a lot of things that I'm just like I want to do that and I want to do that and it's hard to balance it all I know but you know just overall acting is very important to me and it's definitely one of the top ones Mm -hmm. but it's not going to be my limit okay but 
let's i just want to talk real quick about the difference because you at 14 you started film Mm -hmm. because like specifically but you did a lot of on stage in person right yes so and have you done on stage in person as well i've done on stage shakespeare like so musical theater which one do you feel is more difficult to do that's a hard question film film really in my opinion well yes because there's like an intimacy with the camera and with the audience um your eye movements like everything is still and stage is stage is just as hard though you have to i'm sure you know like it's a lot of movement and like singing and stages stages about being over exaggerating and Mm -hmm you know, just being the fullest you can be, whereas film is more just, like, the tiny details. So tell me if I'm wrong, but is it true that, like, on stage, it's, like, that you, there's no, you can't, you're you're live, there's no, like, messing up, but on, in camera, it's, like, there's everybody in the room, the, like, Mm -hmm. guy who's filming, the guy who's, like, with the audio, they're all counting on you to do your part, right? Mm -hmm. So there's that level of, like, responsibility for both of them. Yes. Yes. So I think that's like a big takeaway where it's seeing two like young people f- having these the skill set to be able to go on public, memorize these lines and say them without fear. I think that's pretty inspiring for everyone. And we can all learn something from that where if they can do it, I can do it. Mm-hmm. And it's not just like, oh, I'm going to go start becoming an actor now. It's like, I'm going to speak more, right? It's like yeah. more of that where take more courage in your day-to-day lives, you know? Yeah. And our job is to like tell a story. Okay. So what what the actor does is we just want to inspire other people to like yeah. do what makes them happy. All right. So I think let's let's summarize what we talked about so far. We talked about the journey of two high school students, what what they've done, all the different types of roles they've been through. Then we spoke about the struggles of being a child actor, those and then we talked about public speaking, the fears you face, the fears of failure and how you guys got confidence, who supported you, your experience on A Simple Truth, and your future plans. So is there any last-minute advice you guys have for people in general, just over public speaking or acting or anything like that? Live your life. Like, Live your just life. experience every emotion you can possible because you can put that into anything. Okay. And Kate? Definitely. Just, you know, it's important to find what you like, and it's important to have a voice. I feel like some people don't have a voice. They don't, mm-hmm. you know, if you want to do something and you really want to do it, yeah. do it. It doesn't matter who you are or how young you are or if you're scared that obstacles are going to stop you. Like, you know, take Alex, for example. Like, <laughs> like I, w- I would never expect in a million years that I would meet someone like him who's just done so much mm-hmm. and at such a young age. And I think the biggest takeaway we have is there's so many small changes we can make in our life. Just being more persuas- persuasive day to day, you know, where it's like, I can explain this better, I can make this person happier by the way I talk, you know? And I think if we can start making those small changes, we could really go a long way. <laughs> Definitely. All right, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thanks thank so you. <laughs>